today's toy spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles DC Comics Designer Series number four. We're having a look today at Catwoman. Pages of J. Lee, uh, the J. Lee Superman and Batman line, comes figure four Catwoman. Catwoman comes with an alternate head, comes also with a whip. Doesn't come with a display stand, granted, no, but it's still a really great looking figure. And I want to keep this figure to the last because I have a funny feeling this is going to be my favorite from the line. The side of the package features a very lanky, very slender depiction of Catwoman. DC Comics Designer Series, Batman, Superman, this is figure four, Catwoman. And the other figures consist of Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Catwoman. To check out more from the folks over at DC Comics, head over to www.dccomics.com. You can also find a close comic book store to where you live by going to www.comicshoplocator.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, however, we're going to get a better look at the DC Comics designer series, Catwoman. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Catwoman's accessories will include a whip. Now, unlike it being one sculpted, solid uh, whip, whip, which we've seen before, this one actually has real cord. A nice touch. Well, yes, the rest of it is all rubbery. You can see there. The rest, the end, well, the whole rest of the whip, nice touch having this be real cord. You can kind of do a little bit more than just having it completely rolled up, which we have seen on countless occasions. Take the whip, fits into her hand. You have to do a little bit of adjusting, mind you. And you have to actually, I find it's easier to take the end of the whip, feed it through her hand, and then just keep pulling it through. And you can get it you know, into, into her hand a little bit easier. So you get the whip, put that to the side. Catwoman also comes with an interchangeable head, which has her with the goggles down. Not really sure in this case which one I prefer. I love the goggles down, but really the goggles up too also gives us a very beautiful face on Catwoman. She has all the same similar qualities that the Wonder Woman had, the Batman and the Superman have, where the suit, very heavily lined, heavily creased, uh, almost to the point of being more exaggerated than anything else. Catwoman seems to get off a little bit easier because she's all black and even like the creases get more lost in it as opposed to the Superman or the Batman for that matter. Some would also say well because she is sporting all black there's not really a lot of color to her and that carries over with a lot of Wonder Wo a lot of Catwoman I should say pieces. The other comparison that we could have made is this Catwoman versus the Greg Capullo Catwoman which I was not crazy about at all. And if you remember, that one actually had the eyes, the goggles down, head sculpt. Which, funny enough, when it was first marketed, the Greg Capullo, I believe, also had a goggles up version. They just ultimately went with the goggles down. Now, comparing that figure, which sadly I don't have the other figure right here where we can do the comparison. But compared to that figure, that figure looked a little weird in the, the head sculpt. This one, on the other hand, really, really, really pretty. The skin tone carries also, also over from the Wonder Woman because it has that kind of rosy colored complexion. It's not a very a lifeless skin tone. Seems, I think, will work a little bit better on Catwoman than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, I thought the skin tone was good. Did have borderline lifelessness to it. Catwoman carries it, I think, a little bit better. The back of the figure looks like as well. To swap out the head, we're just going to take the torso and just wiggle it off. Pops off extremely easy. And we're going to take the other head and we're just going to wiggle it into place. You have to apply a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure because you have to get it into that head socket. An accomplishment that is easier to do when you've paused the camera. But that's what it looks like with the alternate head. And once again, showing you the differences between the two. This is all, honestly a case where I'm not sure which one I prefer more. I, I love the goggles up version, but the goggles down version looks spectacular. Again, really lends itself to her looking more like a feline. Very night and day versus the Greg Capullo uh, Catwoman. Again, that was a good example. It was based on a designer 
that had a very specific way of, of having the characters look in the comics maybe didn't translate well to figure form. Jay Lee's version of Catwoman translates extremely well to figure form. Now, in the way of Catwoman's articulation, her head is on that ball joint that is double ball jointed, one in the neck, one in the head. And shoulders hinge out, rotate all the way around, hinge at the elbow, swivel in the glove. No waist swivel, however, but legs do hinge forward, back, and out. She has a bend in the knee, a thigh cut, which swivels, a little stiffer, but swivels there. And she finally has a swivel point in the boot. I myself am probably not alone when I say this, but uh, I f if you're a collector of figures, you generally collect lines, but in the back of your mind, you're always looking for definitives. Definitive figures that represent the character the best and uh, don't have that whip in the place properly. I have to pry the hands open. Yeah, we'll just leave it to the side. Uh, but you are also always looking for definitive figures, figures that truly represent the characters the best way that they can. Greg Capullo, I find represented the best Riddler that I consider like the definitive Riddler on my collection. There's been Secret Wars or Secret Files, uh, Two-Face and Poison Ivy, which again, I consider the definitive versions of those characters. Catwoman here could easily, I feel, could fit into that realm of a definitive. She does things very well. And maybe while the other figures are a little more glaring uh, difference between them and how you would normally expect to find a figure, Catwoman does a pretty good fine line between the way the designer had her interpreted into figure form, but then also a really great, at the end of the day, Catwoman figure. This is probably one of my favorite Catwoman figures and is going to go up there with the Riddler, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, and many more. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the final figure from the DC Collectibles, DC Comics Designer Series, Jay Lee. We're having a look today, we were having a look today, at Catwoman. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more uh, Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.